Tuesdays, we have a gardening show. And uh, one, of, one of the things that we say kind of flippantly, if you can just excuse that for a second here, is, is the fact that it's healthy for you. And it's not really flippant because, I mean, we really believe it. But I, I guess when we say it's healthy to be out in the garden, we, we think in terms of it's relaxing. Um, well, ter- it turns out that there's more to it than that. Uh, Dr. Garth Graham is on the phone. He's a cardiologist, and he implemented key health provisions in the Affordable Care Act to eliminate disparities under the Obama administration. He's the president of the Aetna Foundation, and he wants to talk to us about a special grant that promotes good health and gardens. Let's find out what the connection is right now. Good morning, Dr. Graham. How are you? Good morning. I am good. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, Hartford. All right. I love that area of the country. So um, we always, on Tuesdays, we have a gardening show. We always say, gosh, it must just be relaxing to go out there. It must be good for your overall, just your mood and everything. But you've got this, it goes deeper than that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, you know, um, um, what I always often say to my patients is there's two things you can do to make yourself healthier is eat better and exercise. And it's, it's um, sometimes complicated and sometimes just as simple as that. And the concept of having fresh fruits and vegetables, um, certainly accessible um, uh, locally um, through farmer's markets or urban gardens, um, I believe is particularly important for um, increasing the amount of fresh fruits and vegetables we take in individually as well as collectively as a community. So is, is there any way to measure, like, w- would I be healthier if I grew my own food, or if I if I went to a farmer's market, would that be just as good? It's just as good. I mean, the, the real thing is to make sure that you have um, anywhere between seven to nine servings of um, vegetables or fruits, you know, in terms of um, um, uh, intake a day. And so, however you get that, um, whether you go and get it at your local um, uh, farmer's markets or whether it's something you grow um, in your own backyard or in a neighbor's backyard um, is, you know, is particularly important um, um, that you just get that intake one way or another. You know, one of the fruits that we have here in Florida that is often not even mentioned is coconut. And everybody says coconut is really good for you. I don't do you can I guess coconut is considered a fruit, right? What is coconut? A nut? Yeah, coconut is <laughs> No, it's not a nut actually. Oh. I mean, I think um, <laughs> co- coconut water is good for you. Um, in fact, there'd been um, um, kind of an interesting um, uh, coconut water craze that went through the, the health food industry at one point in time. And then some coconuts actually have, um, uh, we, we call it a jelly, but something that's inside of it that, that you can eat as well. But most people just um, love uh, coconut, the, the actual um, water that comes out of coconut. And then the meat, the white meat from the yeah. coconut, that's really good stuff. That's white meat, yeah. That's yeah, 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 that's really good especially stuff. Especially so. when it's in a Mounds candy bar, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, not exactly. <laughs> I really like the idea that the children, uh, we're very much uh, into agriculture in the Marion County school system here in our area. And the children actually get to have hands-on. They they get to uh, uh, cull the soil. They get to plant the seeds and, and watch uh, th- what whatever it is they plant grow. And then for them to go actually go to different farmers markets to talk to the adults that, that uh, do the this for a living it's it's really a wonderful opportunity yeah and you know one of the things if not the main thing that we're trying to do is to talk about how do you get kids more engaged uh, because childhood obesity leads to adult obesity which leads to all these different things around you know diabetes heart disease etc so if we can get kids to think about healthy foods just just like the way you're talking about in terms of some of the things that you guys are doing there locally um, if we can get that to catch on nationally we think that we could really you know um, um, help stem the tide around childhood obesity and encourage more and more kids to um, think about what they eat and make sure that when they think about it that um, um, the choice they make is a healthy choice and I don't know how impractical it is but just just to to uh, let's see toy with this idea for a second if you, if you had children who were on the couch all the time and you decided as a family to start a garden and everybody had a responsibility with the garden then they'd be off the couch just taking care and, and having some pride in that garden that would eventually yield some really good food for the, for the family yeah, no, that's, that's, that's one good good way to think about it. I mean, what we always try to say, too, is 
Um, however you can engage kids to think about this as fun, to think about these kinds of things as entertaining, um, and certainly, you know, uh, family bonding only um, increases the, uh, the thought that they will continue to do this further on in life. If you can train these kids now to think like that, then you're giving them a lifetime of healthy decisions um, and then a lifetime potentially of good health. Um, and so it's, it's, it's you know, if, if I was a carpenter, maybe I'd say nails is the most important thing. But as a doctor, I think your health is the most important thing. It's hard to enjoy anything else if you're not healthy. So if we could give our kids a gift of health um, through making good decisions around what they eat, um, I don't think there's anything better we can do. And uh, what uh, what uh, some, of, some of the things that the local supermarkets here do, they have all of these fruits and vegetables and they label them from the countries that they come from so we as a uh, uh, nation have a huge huge uh, choice of variety not just at our local farmers markets but fruits from different countries yeah, you know, all of those kinds of things, um, you know, just get kids engaged, you know, and they think about, you know, where is this coming from and all the kind of exciting things that go along with it. Um, and, you know, you guys, particularly in Central Florida, uh, you have such a mixture of um, different kinds of, of, of opportunities uh, for kids to be particularly engaged. I think it's just um, a, a kind of a, a lot of potential there that a lot of people are already taking advantage of. And, and do, were you a teacher, I mean a professor at the University of Florida? Yeah, huh? I was at UF um, uh, for a little while, and I still love um, um, you know coming down to visit my old colleagues oh, um, wow. in the Gainesville area. Wow. Um, so, so uh, let's see. We don't have a book to uh, direct our listeners to. Um, do you have a web? <laughs> do you have a website we can direct them to? Sure. So there's two websites that um, we think to to, to um, direct people to. So one um, is a uh, national farmers market directory that the USDA, uh, the federal government, puts out. And basically, you can go to that website and um, find um, where you have your local farmers markets. And it's uh, USDA.gov forward slash farmers markets uh, with an S and N all one word. And then certainly, if you go to our website, which is Etna Foundation. A-E-T-N-A foundation.org, all one word. You can get more information on these kinds of things. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and, the, and the grant, let's see, what was this, a special grant program? Is that something that yeah. local people can benefit from? Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, we um, launched a grant program earlier this year uh, to try and build um, farmers, um, um, build uh, urban gardens and um, local sources of fresh fruits and vegetables across the country. Um, and we got some great responses, including um, folks from the um, uh, Central Florida area um, who, you know, are looking to do all kinds of um, wonderful and innovative things um, in terms of growing um, um, a healthy um, uh, uh, food options and so that's part of what we're doing is not just spreading the message but trying to invest our uh, funds behind it as well. Uh, doctor, thank you for being with us this morning. Dr. Garth Graham we, we'll put this uh, interview online so you'll be able to watch it, share it with your uh, friends and relatives later on plus of course the information regarding the two websites that Dr. Graham gave us. Dr. Garth Graham, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank we'll, you for having me. We'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Unconfirmed reports say Taliban leader Mala Omar is dead, a victim of tuberculosis at least two years ago. An Afghan official says they're investigating. As soon as we get 